Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a loading screen, we have some leaks, and the hype is building for Foot Birthday Team number two because it looks like it might raise the bar of Foot Birthday cards in packs. This team is looking pretty insane so far from the news and information that we have seen. We're going to take a look at those cards and the leaks that we know right now. And of course, with Team 1 of Foot Birthday leaving packs, could there be a good opportunity to invest specifically in some of these cards that that have dropped down a lot in price. I'm looking at this Darwin Nunez right here, the lowest price that it's ever been by about 100,000 coins. So we're going to take a look at that today and of course everything that went on yesterday with a missing foot birthday swaps token. EA forgot to put a token out yesterday, but they're going to fix that issue today. We'll take a look at what they said in response to that and everything else going on in this game on a Thursday in FIFA 23. If you're excited for the video today and if it helps you out at all, hit the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. First, let's take a look at the Angola Conte SBC, which I would show you the SBC in the SBC section, but I actually completed it yesterday. You got, you guys might be like, Nate, why in the world? Why would you do this SBC? I just love Conte and FIFA, man. Conte is always super duper meta. I'm not a Chelsea fan. I'm a Spurs fan, right? But I packed team of the year Conte two times in the past three years that he had a team of the year. He is always absolutely incredible, plays way above his stats. And that is why I did this SBC yesterday. I had not done Rivaldo, Cruyff, or the Mbappe player of the month. I had a ton of fodder. I had 85 times 10s from swaps. And even though the price tag on this SBC is way too much, I know that this card is way too much. 1.8 million coins for the small stat boost that he got. Of course, he did get a five-star weak foot, which is nice, but it's really too expensive, guys, and that is why it only has a 17% upvote right now on Footbin. 1.8 mil for such a small upgrade is not it. But again, the thing that I see with this Conte SBC is it's Conte, just like the Sergio Ramos, right? I almost didn't do Sergio Ramos during Team of the Year, and he is a top three center back now in this game with the meta, right? So I feel like this Conte could be on that same Ramos level later on. You have 60 days to do it, which is great. If you don't want to do it now, you can wait 60 days to do it. But also what this tells me is Conte is not going to be getting another card anytime soon if they just release an SBC for him that is out for 60 days days. So I know it's overpriced. The upgrade is really not good. We expected that, right? That was kind of what we were hoping, not hoping to see, but it's what we expected. And I hope the, I was hoping the price would be about, you know, three, four, 500,000 coins less, but it is what it is. If you want to craft it over time, you're going to be able to get it done. It's just not one that you maybe want to do right away, specifically with one of the players that's in team two for foot birthday. That is another absolutely insane Premier League center mid. So we'll take a look at that. But that Conte yesterday was shocking, right? I mean, it did impact the market a lot. Conte's special cards actually went down. Uh, they had a big spike right away and then went down in price. Uh, and then some of your other links like Koulibaly and some of these other Chelsea links went down right away. But now they're back up because like we said, with Pedri, with Conte, these big player SBCs, People will just do it because it's a big player that they haven't been able to attain a recent special card of via SBC uh, in a long time in this game. So people are doing Conte, even though it's too expensive. That's just how it goes. We also had an 84 plus times five yesterday, which actually I'm going to open one of those right now because I have one. Uh, the third one of the day that I just did. I'm going to rip it open for you guys. This SBC is often seen as bad value. Um, it's an 85, two players inside of it with an 84 squad. And you need a walkout, which I have right here to really kind of make it worth it we are going to pick up a 87 Rodri which is not bad because with the rest of this pack like these 85s and 84s that I just got I'm going to be able to do this SBC again today keep the 87 and then put those other 84s and the 85 back into it when it refreshes and I'll be able to do that SBC once more for a little bit, I guess, easier or a little bit cheaper. So whether you're stacking those up to save for Foot Birthday Team 2 or if you're just opening them to try to craft something right now, uh, that's a duplicate. That's unfortunate. But, you know, that SBC was there yesterday. We're going to be able to do it three more times today. It's repeatable three times today uh, and then it'll go away before Team 2 of Foot Birthday is released. So that did impact fodder a little bit. And I want to talk about how fodder moved with Conte as well, because some of your like, you know, Makalele, some of your big like Goretzka that we shouted yesterday, Goretzka actually took a hit in price in the first little bit after Conte was released. Some of your big time expensive midfielders did go down into content. But then when Conte was super expensive, they went back up, right? Because people were like, nah, I'm not doing Conte, right? High rated fodder though, since Conte had that 
90 rated squad inside of his SBC is going up. 80,000 coins almost for 91 rated cards. If you want to take a sell on these cards, you absolutely can. Uh, could they stay pretty high and above 70,000 coins for this next week? I do believe that they will. Could they also go down a little bit on the weekend? Yes. So this is a high point for 90s and 91s. In my opinion, I have sold mine, but that's just because I want to get my coins ready to invest again and to trade again in other places. Although these cards could go even higher later on next week during the second week of full birthday. There's potential for that. It just depends. But those are the cards that are up the most. 85s went up a bit yesterday. They were all like 12,000 coins with the 84 plus times five releasing. You can see, boom, nice bump to like 12, 13K, especially because you can do that SBC three times. Other than that, the fodder market is relatively unchanged. Not a, a huge amount of movement there, but the highest tier, the 89s, 90s, and 91s, and 92s had the biggest rises yesterday because of that high rated uh, price of M Mbappe, or sorry, of Conte. Now, one of the things that EA also mentioned yesterday, and some of us were very confused when we saw this or the lack of this yesterday, was they didn't release a swaps token. We were like, what in the world? We thought it was going to release with Silver Stars, and it didn't. EA said today's swap token was delayed and will become in game, uh, available in game today on Thursday. So I'm guessing that inside of Silver Stars today on FIFA, they're going to drop another token alongside of a token today like they normally would inside of marquee matchups. So if you have played silver games, don't win three, right? Don't start to try to win three and save your silver games or at least save this objective. Maybe go out and win two, but don't complete this until the swap token drops today because uh, they might put it here. And if they do, you wouldn't have wanted to complete the objective already uh, and then not get the token or, or be glitched or something like that. So I don't exactly know where the token's going to be, but that would be my guess for that token that was uh, forgotten about yesterday from EA Sports. So that's kind of what's going on in this game right now. Yesterday was kind of a letdown day with the expensive SBC aspect of Conte, but it was still crazy to see that big of an SBC released. And of course, happy birthday to Mr. Conte. Now let's talk about foot birthday team two and the leaks because we've got a lot of information rolling out and it all started with this loading screen. We didn't have any leaks before this loading screen and this got us really curious because you see the Brazil flag five-star weak foot. We know who that player is. You see a five-star weak foot and a Manchester United player with 90 dribbling. There's a couple options for who that could be and then you've got a 96 pace German player with five-star skills. Firstly, over here on the left, five-star weak foot, Brazilian flag. What's your mind go to right away? Vinny Jr. Well, guess Guess what? You're right. Vinny Jr., five star, five star, is coming as a foot birthday team two player. This is the headliner player of the promo 100%, and this is deserved. This is needed. I don't know what's going to go on with like a team of the season for Vinny because you would think that he would get in based on team of the season voting being a thing, but. He's getting a foot birthday nonetheless. Five star, five star Vinny. This is hype. This is going to be probably the most expensive card in Team 2. And of course, as you would expect, his special cards have started to drop. 2.6 mil. The leak has come out. He's down to about 2.2 at the moment. His other card is down to 1.6, which is down like 300K. And this Vinny is going to be expensive. So best of luck to everybody trying to pack him. That's going to be a very expensive card. Now, also in the loading screen, we have this Manchester United player with 90 dribbling. Well, I think there's two options of who this could be. First option would be Rashford. That would be a big boost on the dribbling for Rashford. Off his highest rated card, the player of the month, it would go from a plus three, 87 to 90 dribbling, which seems like it is possible, but maybe a bit too much. The more likely player that it could be would be Anthony. He's got 89 dribbling as ones to watch card. That would be just a plus one, which EA seems to be doing a lot with these full birthday cards. And he would also be five star, five star. So imagine a five star, five star Anthony and a Vinny in the same promo. That's big. And along with that, the Brazil hype doesn't stop there. We have a Bruno Guimaraes that is leaked as well. EA is going all out with the Brazilian links so far with this promo. Stats predicted for this card, but this is going to be an absolutely super meta card in game. I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried out the Bruno Guimaraes Path to Glory card, or you remember that card from during the World Cup when his price crashed, when Brazil lost. This was a very, very meta center mid at that time of the game. Still is very good, and with an upgrade, I mean, even if they only give out plus ones and plus twos and hopefully some maybe some plus threes if like if they make this Bruno Guimaraes 92 or 93 rated he's going to be very expensive but also cracked because this card is so so good in game 12 million games played that is a very 
very in-demand card. So many people have used this card throughout the year, and that's why there's so much hype. People are already starting to invest in Foot Birthday Emerson because of all these Brazilian links. Now, I was hoping to invest in this card myself. Hopefully, it goes a bit lower today, and we'll talk about that later in the video, but those are some really, really big Brazilian leaks that we have right there between those cards. Now, we're not entirely sure who this um, German five-star skill with a lot of pace could be. Timo Werner, Leroy Sané are all options for who this could be, but we're going to see more leaks today, guys, right? We're going to see more leaks today. It is guaranteed that we are going to see that because, um, I don't know, it's Thursday. I mean, Foot Sheriff has been tweeting a lot into the late night hours. I'm surprised he hasn't tweeted some more stuff out. I would expect today on Thursday, uh, we're going to get some more icons leaked. We're going to get some more Foot Birthday players. I'm, I'm really shocked that we have no icons leaked right now at this very moment because, I mean, we're expecting an icon team too because if you look at the menus here and you see it says Foot Birthday team number one, then if you click over, it says Foot Birthday icon team number one. So uh, I've seen names thrown out like Del Piero and Raul could potentially be a part of the Foot Birthday icons team number two. But as of right now, we have no concrete leak. So I think today is going to be a massive day to be watching Twitter. Uh, we'll talk about it on the stream today. A lot of leaks are going to be posted, I think, for Foot Birthday team two including some of the icons. Now, how is the market going to react to some of these leaks? Well, you've already known and we've already kind of talked about it, but with the cards that have already been leaked, you've seen prices go down. Bruno Guimaraes, like we mentioned, has gone down in price. Um, or no, we, we mentioned Vinny, but Bruno Guimaraes has dropped down. I think it was like 180 or 190K and his card right now is about 170. I think most people realize that a new upgraded version of this is going to be super expensive because he's going to go above 90 dribbling. He's going to be high 80s defense, physical and passing. And he's He's going to just go even higher above 82 pace and 80 uh, shooting, which imagine five star skills or a five star weak foot. If it's four or five for either way, five, four or four or five, this card's going to be so, so good. I mean, it's going to be an incredible, incredible card. Links to Isak, links to all the Brazilian cards that we have out in this game right now, like the Ederson that so many people got from the footballers promo last week, and just Premier League links in general are very, very hype at the moment. So there's a lot of demand for these cards in Team 2. Is there going to be like a market crash for this stuff? I know we had a huge market crash before Team 1, a foot birthday. And really, guys, I don't expect a market to crash at all like it did last week in the crazy panic leading up to foot birthday because we know how these cards are getting upgraded now and the upgrades are not that amazing. I would love to see something different happen during foot birthday team two, but if I'm being completely honest, it's probably going to be about the same. If that is Anthony on the loading screen, plus one dribbling. I mean, think about Darwin Nunez wants to watch through his foot birthday card. Such a small upgrade, probably going to be the same with this Anthony. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. And I would even be very happy if it's Rashford because that means really big upgrades uh, compared from his player of the month to the loading screen. But, you know, we'll just have to see. And as we get more leaks today, we'll have to see how the prices move on the market. But according according to the leaks as well, like we saw with the Bruno Guimaraes that was leaked, people have started to go out and buy cards on the market because they say, wow, this Emerson card is already in so much demand. So many people want this card. He's so meta and very, very good. Good. They are going and buying this already before uh, the game of is even dropped on this game. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that. I think I would rather wait today to see if this card drops off at all to see if we have another Premier League right back or another Brazilian right back, even if it's not in the Premier League one leak of another right back that is really massive and really hype could make this Emerson Royale fall off again in price as investors start to panic and sell because they see another hype uh, right back in the team two for foot birthday. So that's kind of all that I really expect on the market is just prices changing between the leaked cards and maybe some uh, links to some of the newly leaked cards as well. I'm not expecting a huge overall market crash because foot birthday in its own right, if the stats are not going to get boosted as much as we really want them to, there's not going to be a true market crash. So speaking of team one of foot birthday though, and going out of packs like that Emerson, I know a lot of people want to look at some of these cards for their team for an investment scenario. Do you have an opportunity to invest? I do believe that you do with some of these cards. Marquinhos, especially with the Brazilian links, looks pretty good to me. He was down yesterday at like 500 120 530k i think you're going to see these cards get a bit low again today around the content drop zinchenko was under uh 300 coins darwin nunez is the cheapest that he has been the five star skill version is 820k five star weak foot version is 720k huge drops
in price for Darwin Nunez. I mean, he was probably overpriced to begin with, but it's looking pretty good for an investment if you want to get one of those into your team. Not saying it's going to rise 100%. Uh, I don't think a ton of these guys are going to rise, but Zinchenko, um, Marquinhos, Emerson, Bernardo Silva, maybe just because he's super meta and also very rare. Uh, do have a potential to rise out of packs. And then I do kind of like some of these icons. Um, Pushkas, uh, Kuman, Mateus, and, and Jorzinho, since they're super meta and, you know, uh, kind of rare because they're icons, but also just because they're cards it, it seemingly a lot of people want to use. I think a few of these guys could drop a little bit more today and be an investment with some of the leaks or some of the supply for marquee matchups before they go out of packs. I don't anticipate really investing a ton into Team Wonderful Birthday, but a couple of the cards, I might pick up a few just to see if they go up into the weekend, depending on how the hype for Foot Birthday goes. But marquee matchups and Division Rivals rewards today should supply them on the market, especially the lower tier ones like Emerson. Um, especially, you know, maybe Zinchenko a little bit too, maybe Koke if you want one of those for your team. Those could be supplied a bit more on the game today because of the rivals' rewards. Now, speaking of Thursday content, let's talk about swap tokens a bit, right? Marquee matchups should refresh today, which should include another token. Now, we mentioned that other token that was forgotten yesterday. I don't know where they're going to put it. I would assume they're going to put it in Silver Stars like it was supposed to be and they forgot about it, but... Uh, watch out for marquee matchups today, which evidently I already scrolled past and I can't find it. Or maybe another one of these like token uh, player SBCs. There it is, marquee matchups. So there's going to be supply on the market because everybody's going to do marquee matchups for the token today. And that's why there's a lot of supply on the market last week on Thursday as well. I do believe that will impact low tier fodder. So if you have any 85s, um, you know, maybe today at content with a spike of people doing the 84 times five again, sell those cards, take the cash. And then I think today is going to start the, the time frame where 83s and 84s are going to drop further into the weekend and be a really, really good investment. And even some of your middle to high tier fodder, like 86s and 87s and that stuff could take a bit of a hit late tonight into tomorrow as we get our main supply for the market as we normally do on the weekend. So if you have fodder that you want to sell, a lot of prices are up. Some prices you could, again, hold out and wait. Like if you bought 84s at like 3.7K, I know they're not up at all, um, but I don't think they're going to go crazy until we get some more content next week, maybe some more like cheaper content. And maybe if the player picks aren't as good because the 80 plus player picks being so good this week and giving out so much fodder and a lot of people taking, you know, 8220s, 8510s from the swaps program, the low tier fodder is in such high supply, so much of it, especially from these player picks. Uh, people need the high rated fodder and that's why the high rated fodder prices are up as much as they are. Now, foot birthday player SBC today. This one's a bit interesting. We have a leak for a player, but this player, in my opinion, I think is more of like a Friday type of SBC because this is a pretty big SBC. Speaking of the Brazilian love, Alexandro is coming as a foot birthday player SBC and this could be a really, really nice card, really meta. Alexandro has had some really good SBCs in the flash, a past. He had like a flashback SBC. Um, he had a fantasy foot card last year that was really, really good. So stats are predicted on this, but a five-star skill or weak foot Sandro could be a very nice card that a lot of people would want to do. And finally, it's not Premier League as well, right? It is Serie A, Juventus. So you've got the Pogba links that so many people are using right now in their teams. This is going to be an SBC with a lot of demand. I hope EA give him 90 pace, high 80s, just like these predicted stats here. I hope those are kind of the, the card that an Alexandro gets. He could be very usable for the right price. And uh, if he had right back position change, I would absolutely love that as well. Like if they gave him five-star weak foot and the right back change, I have Captavia and Quadrado, right? I would love to put this guy right back with a five-star weak foot. That would be great. I don't believe it's going to happen. I'm just kind of dreaming up a dream scenario on my team. But I feel like we need more right backs and left backs in this game at the moment. I don't know. That's just me. Um, hoping that that card could be dropped today. There also could be another player SBC today that is not leaked yet. Um, again, I don't know about the Kolasinac and the Ozil. Foot Sheriff is seemingly not too sure about those. So we will get a player SBC today as that's a whole part of the promo, the daily player SBCs. We just don't exactly know who it's going to be. But Alexandro would be pretty hype. Watch out for more of those Brazilian links, especially in the Serie A, like Bremer went up yesterday. The uh, goalkeeper uh, who I actually sold, Chesney is up a bit in price. I bought that at like 34K when uh, Ed was dropped last week on Thursday. So, um, you know, watch out for some of those links today if that SBC were to drop. Uh, last thing, really quickly to end the video off, just what I have right now on my transfer list. I bought some cards yesterday in the panic and we traded a bit as well. Um, I bought some Cristiano Ronaldo rule breakers 
uh, at around 400 and 30, 420,000 coins for a couple of these because uh, he is down a lot because he got a brand new team of the week. And this team of the week, guys, is correct. It is a very good team of the week because you've got a Ronaldo in form right now that's actually extinct at 350,000 coins with a nice dynamic image, Portuguese kit on the, the Ronaldo there. Very deserved in form. Small upgrade, of course, but having Ronaldo and Son and Valverde in the team of the week um, is pretty hype. There's a lot of demand for weekend this weekend. And the reason why I bought that Ronaldo card was because, um, yes, it's the only Ronaldo on this game besides the gold with the Manchester United links, which I think are very valuable. He is back up in price, but if we're getting a Anthony or a Rashford, that could bring some more demand back for those Manchester United links. So uh, that's why I kind of picked up the Ronaldo there. Also, you saw a lot of players that are Chelsea links, like we mentioned, rise back up in price. Wesley Fofana, I sold yesterday into the hype, right? He, he was kind of on like a roller coaster yesterday. I sold Wesley Fofana right here, right around 409, right before he started to go down. Conte was released, very expensive. He dropped down for like an hour and then kind of went right back up. Again, this is still a live card. If there's a Premier League center back that is leaked to be in the team today or tomorrow, then he could go down again in price. But that's kind of where my coins are at at the moment. And I started to sell some of the fodder that I had, but the market's still really healthy. Uh, and there was a lot of movements where you could trade in and out of things yesterday with the Conte SBC. Um, and then otherwise, right? French icons like Desai, you know, he is up because of Conte 600 K plus. Usually he's like 550 to 580. He's up an extra 30,000 coins. Watch out for some of your Brazilian icons coming up this next weekend with all the Brazilian links that we have. And we'll see what more leaks we get today and how much hype we have for foot birthday team too. Hopefully EA Sports juice this upcoming promo up big time. I'm very excited for Team 2. I might save some player picks for it. I'll be crafting those today. A lot of people are going to do that. So if marquee matchups drops, the rares or the non-rares tip, buy rares instead of non-rares because it's the same price right now and there's less competition to do 80 plus player picks. Um, watch out for that today as well. Could be a good time to stock up on player picks or some packs. And for you guys that are saving packs, hopefully the leaks today do look good. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Catch you guys there. It's been Nate Photocount. Peace out.